How you going everyone? Corey Baker here once again and welcome back to Jurassic Collectibles. Today we're going to be looking at the Ruravores Triceratops for the Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom line by Mattel. So this guy looks pretty awesome. He's got an attack feature which is like most Triceratops toys. He kind of rams his head and you know, throws his head up like that. But first before we get this guy out we're going to just have a quick look at the package. All right, as always, we've got a volcano picture behind the dinosaur. Top left corner, we have a Jurassic World logo. Down the bottom left, we have Owen and Blue. And as you see here, Roravores Triceratops. And then here is his action picture, just on the bottom right. All right, we're going to turn this guy around, have a look at the back, and as you can see, on the back you can see pretty much what this toy is all about. Press the button and he throws his head up in a ramming motion and he will make noise. Another reminder up here that we've got a Jurassic uh, Facts app uh, QR code on the bottom, on one of the bottom feet of this Triceratops. And down here we have the other Roravores. We have reviewed the Baryonyx. We've got two others to review soon on Dress Collectibles. Uh, anyway, without further ado, we'll get this guy out of his packaging. So here we have the Triceratops out of the packaging and oh, hang on, what we got here, we've got another case of the no-tail disease. We will put, help the Triceratops up by just snapping this on like that. There we go. They've done that to save shelf room. But here he is with his tail. And looking at the Triceratops, you've got a pretty cool looking Triceratops here. So it's from the front and from the other side here. Thing to note that the head's pretty wobbly. But that might look good as it's running along. Oh. And there's a noise. Okay, so the Triceratops here we have uh, little legs you can put them all out at. Looks pretty funny. And you can make the legs go back and forth on all four legs. back legs will snap into their natural position like that as we've seen in the other ones all legs will go out like that these ones will actually go out quite a fair fair way there you go we've got a really nice just kind of brown paint job with a little bit of a darker brown on top and here you can see the button which is used to use the action feature and activate the noise and yeah, we got just a solid brown tail. We've actually got a little bit of a lighter colour on the back of the back, uh, back legs, which is pretty funny. Look at, and then here we have the head. Yeah, all right, we'll have a closer look. Okay, so here we have the Triceratops. And the Triceratops has the iconic kind of little spikes going around the frill. We've got a nice shading of darker brown going around the, the perimeter of the frill. The horns are kind of just white. There is a little bit of lack of paint on the top, the very tip of this horn. So there is going to be a, a few downsides to the paint job. Almost looks like this mouth can open. Here we've got the iconic Triceratops beak. The head will wobble, it does wobble a little bit. We have the brown splodging on top and the body and the legs and tail are usually all, it's all kind of like this brownish reddish colour. So here we have the, where the sound comes from and this is where you get the bat, put the batteries in if you need to replace the batteries. Here we have the QR code for the Jurassic Facts app on the left back foot. And on the left back foot, on the right back foot, we have the Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom little stamp for all their toys, just like Jurassic Park from Kenner had all those years. And there we go, we've got this Triceratops. All right, turning on the other side, look on the other side while we're here. As all these toys, as I've said with most of these toys, the sculpt is second to none. They've really done a really good job with all these sculpts and pretty much why these toys are seen to be such good quality. 
Uh, the, obviously the paint job isn't like papo quality, but that's what you expect from a toy. It's all about the action features, which we'll look at right now. Okay, so the action feature of this toy is you press a button up here, the Triceratops will make a noise and throw his head up like that. Let's have a look. And we'll get around four noises. It's pretty cool. I've always liked um, Triceratops toys, how they have the throwing up the head motion. A lot of the Jurassic Park uh, past Triceratops toys have all done this kind of um, action feature. And it makes it makes quite good fun when you get the Triceratops to charge and then at the end they go uh, throw the head up in a big charging motion. There we go. So let's see how big the Triceratops actually is. So from tip to the tail, to the very tip of the horns, it's about um, one foot or 12 inches or 31 centimeters. And to the bottom of the floor, to the tip of the frill, we're looking at around four and a half inches or about 11, 11 centimeters. Okay, so now size comparison time. Here we have Series 1 Jurassic Park from Kenner, Alan Grant. Now, that kind of towers over the Triceratops. And uh, that is expected, seeing that these guys are in a bigger scale. Now this is the one to pay attention to. This is a Jurassic Park 3 Alan Grant. And this is how big the human figures will be from this toy line from Mattel. And as you can see, this is a little bit more of a better um, scale, but to me the Triceratops looks a little bit small from what I'm expect. I always expected Triceratops to be. I think Triceratops is actually bigger in real life than this toy. So here you go. Here's the to uh, human toy, and uh, I'm pretty sure Triceratops is a lot bigger than this. So watch out Triceratops, we have the Carnotaurus from the Action Attacks range. And uh, watch out, he's got his snapping jaws. But that's okay, because the Triceratops can gouge the Carnotaurus like that. And here we have the iconic Red Rex from the first Jurassic Park line from Kenner. And as you can see, he towers over the Triceratops. Um, I don't know if it's just me, but in my personal opinion, I think this Triceratops from Mattel for the um, Roarivores range is actually kind of small. Uh, Triceratops, in my opinion, needs to be a bit bigger than this one, but it's still an okay toy nonetheless, with a cool action feature. Okay everyone, so that was the Triceratops figure from the Roarivores range for the Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom toy line from Mattel. Uh, all in all, it's a pretty cool figure. In my personal opinion, Triceratops needs a bit, bit bigger, uh, but it does scale up okay with the other toys from the toy line. And all in all, it's got a cool action feature with him raising his head up while he charges. And I'm always, right, let me finish. I've always been a good, fa big fan of dinosaur toys that make electronic noise. Anyway, guys, stay tuned for the next Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom toy review from me, Corey Baker. Another big thank you to Jurassic Collectibles for giving me this honor to show you these toys to you guys. And make sure you rate, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys on the next Fallen Kingdom toy review. See you later.